Hey, good evening, uh, Penguins fans. How's everyone doing tonight? Can everyone hear me out there in box breaking land? Uh, just double checking my microphones here. Uh, check, check, check. Looks like it's working okay. How you, how's everyone tonight? Uh, welcome aboard. Welcome back for another Penguins bo Breaking the Ice box breaking event. Thanks for tuning in. Um, settling in for the next 35, 45 minutes to an hour. We're going to rip open these two boxes, see what we've got for our lucky fans that have bought into the, the event tonight. Everyone's chirping in here on the, uh, the comments. Keep them coming, everybody. Uh, good to see everybody checking in tonight. Hi, Nicholas. Hey, Cody, Mike Jennings, Randy, Carl, uh, Steezy. How you doing, old boy? Good to see everybody checking in tonight, watching the uh, box breaking on this screen while they're watching the NHL games on the other screen. Yeah, it is a crazy game out there. Uh, Columbus, Tampa Bay, two overtimes so far, about four minutes left in that second overtime, still a 2-2 game. Uh, Calgary, Dallas in the second period, 2-2. And then later on tonight, we've got Carolina and Boston at 8 p.m. And then the late game, Chicago, Vegas, lots of hockey going on. Lots of fun going on. So it's great to see hockey back. Unfortunately, as you all know, by this point, the Pittsburgh Penguins not participating anymore in the postseason. Unfortunately, uh, knocked out a little bit earlier than we all would have liked. But c'est la vie. What can you do? Um, we look forward to next year when things are back in, in better order and we can get, uh, get the Pens a little bit further in the, in the playoffs. So, But tonight, hey, Penguin Club, how you doing? Tonight, we are uh, ready for another Penguins Breaking the Ice box breaking event. If you haven't done one of these with us in the last couple of weeks, here's how it works. Uh, fans can buy into the breaks, uh, 30 spot, 31 spots in this break tonight. So basically, you could log on to Dash, you could buy a spot in this break. We're going to randomize the lists, randomize the list of people, randomize the list of teams. Whoever you land on with your teams, that's who you're going to get out of these boxes. We've got a box of 2018-19 Upper Deck American Hockey League cards. Two autographs per box on average. Lots of top pos prospects from the last couple of years in there as well. Box number two tonight, 2019-20 Upper Deck Series 1. Uh, the same two boxes that we broke last week. The same two products we broke last week. We're doing again tonight. Uh, oh, it looks like, what do we have here? Do we have a score? No, we do not. Let's check it in. Hey, Jason Barr, John Italia, and my two old buddies there checking in as well. Um, so the same two products from the last week. And we're back, I think. Sorry about that, guys. The internet went down for a second, but we are back. Uh, so I'm not sure where we left off, but we're doing the same two products we had last week. We have the AHL box from 1819, the 1920 Tops Upper Deck. Um, same two kind of boxes we did last week, uh, but I'm going to release it momentarily here on Dash. We've got two new breaks that are going to be going up that you can buy into. So, what we're going to do there is, I'm going to show you those right now. So, going live later tonight or in just a few moments. As a matter of fact, live right now on the Dash app. 2017-18 AHL Hockey. And 2019-20 Upper Deck OPC. So, those just went live. Those are going to be available for you to purchase your spots in 30 spots in each of the, in this break. And then we're going to do a similar break as well. Another one that's going up live, the same AHL box there, 2017-18, and an MVP, Upper Deck MVP NHL box. So those two breaks just went live on Dash. So if you're looking to buy in uh, for future breaks, there you go. So if one of those sells out, we'll do that next week. 
uh, hopefully next Tuesday, if we can get uh, enough people to buy in. Um, or if we get them both, maybe we'll do them both next week. Who knows? Um, so that's what we've got coming up. But tonight we're doing back to the same ones we did last week. The 1819 AHL and the 2019-20 upper deck. So without any further ado, let's check the scores of the NHL games real quickly again. 2-2 uh, still there. About two minutes left in the uh, second overtime for the uh, Blue Jackets of Lightning. Calgary Flames go up 3-2 over the Dallas Stars. That must be why that boo came in there, Jason. Is that right? If you're down there in Texas. Um, I'm assuming that is why this boo came in on the comments there. Uh, make sure to join the conversation tonight. Uh, let us know what's going on, what you're looking for, if you're having fun with these. Um, and what we can do to make the experience better if there's anything we can do going forward. So first thing we're going to do tonight, we are going to go to the randomizer. Um, and we are going to, well, first thing, I'm going to show you the names. Everybody that is involved in tonight's, these are the names of the folks that are involved in tonight's break. Uh, Brittany Curtis, Cody Moyer, Tim, Patty, Jamie, James, Carl. Jeremy, Jason, Chris, Michael, Amy, Amy, Douglas, Frank, Randy, John, Corey, Nicholas. I see some of you guys in the uh, comments already, so happy to have you along. What we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, random.org. We're going to take all the names in this column. We're going to randomize those first, put them back into the spreadsheet. Then we're going to randomize, randomize your names Put them back into the spreadsheet. That's who you are going to get in tonight's break. So very first thing we're going to do here, select all of these names of the team. These are the team combinations that we will be working with tonight. So let me go in here, and we are going to share... this Chrome tab with you. So let's take this to full screen here for you. We are gonna paste the names of the teams in here. You can see right in order, Anaheim all the way down through Winnipeg. We're gonna roll the dice. So we've got 13 times on the randomizer here, 13 times and we are going to go right now. We're also, uh, just don't forget, uh, every time we do one of these breaks, we are giving away a game-worn Penguins jersey afterward. Tonight's jersey is a game-worn third jersey from Penguins defenseman Zach Trotman. Uh, I actually left it in the office, so I don't have it to show you guys tonight, but it is in the office. Uh, and one of you lucky breakers will be winning that tonight. Here's the final spin for the teams. So this is the order that the teams are going to be in. Uh, that verification code on that random is B Y V D N M. So you can come back into random.org and check uh, the authenticity of all of these moves that we make. So B Y V D N M in case you have any questions going forward, we're going to do the names of all of you fine folks now that are participating in tonight's break. As I mentioned, we've got some new breaks that just went live. You can buy into those. If you have not bought into a break before, you go to Dash, the Dash Auction app. Uh, you can buy your spots there. And then uh, as soon as it fills, we pick a date, usually a Tuesday night. And that's when we're going to do our next Breaking the Ice event. So if those fill up, we will do one next Tuesday. So we've got 10 total rounds here for our next randomization. So this is putting you guys in order. And this is how you are going to find out which teams you are assigned for tonight's randomized break. Final one. So we now copy those. That 
verification code is F W J I G V. And we are now pasting those names. We are going to remove this and we're now going to share. Once again, so Randy, you've got the Boston Bruins all the way down. Tim, you get the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Marlies. All the names right in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these. I'm going to paste these into Facebook, into the comments section right under where this video is playing so that you guys have easy access to see which teams you have. Heading over there right now. So uh, last week's cards are all in order. What I did is I made an executive decision. So if you were in last week's breaks, we're going to combine this week's breaks with them since they're the same cards. And we're going to send those all out tomorrow. I'm going into the office tomorrow. And we will be shipping these all out to you guys first thing tomorrow morning. Get them all organized tonight. And then we will be... And you guys will have right now. So, uh, you guys will have all of your cards for the last two breaks in hand at that point. So, I believe we are there. We go. So, if you go over to Facebook, let me see if I can go to the YouTube page as well. Pop these in on YouTube so you guys have easy access to the names. So, if you go right to Facebook. Under the comments section, you can actually see all of the team names, all the team assignments. So you don't have to look at it on this small little screen here. I'm going to try this real quickly over on YouTube. See if we can't do this for you guys as well. Um, so while we're waiting, while we got a second here, who is going to win the Stanley Cup now that the Penguins are out? Who is going to win the Stanley Cup now that the Penguins are out? We want to know. We want to see your picks. Show us using the hashtag WBS Breaking the Ice. Put it in the comments tonight. We'll see what's going on there. So we're going to come over here. And it's not letting me put them into the comments on YouTube for, I think, because it's a formatting thing here. Let me try this one more time here and see if I can get it in there or not. Do this first. Well, I don't know. Um, I'm going to work on that, guys. That's uh, a little bit tricky there for me while I'm doing this on the fly, but... If you go over to the Facebook page, you'll be able to see all those names. Randy thinks the Flyers. Cody thinks the Flyers as well. Carl, I like your pick of the Knights. Pulling for Marc-Andre Fleur, our old buddy there. Nicholas, he's got the Blackhawks. That's what he's saying. But without further ado, let's get into this first break here. If you guys have any questions while we're doing this, make sure you pop into the comments section there. Let me know. Happy to answer any questions. We're going to have some fun here while we open up these cards. So, AHL 2018-19. Eight cards per pack, 16 packs per box. And uh, at least two inter uh, autographs is what it says. We're on average two autographs. Um, so we're going to see what we get tonight between autographs and short prints and some other fun stuff that they have in there. Um, so without further ado, let's get breaking here. I'm actually in a couple other breaks that are going on right now while we're doing this one that I'm, I can't even actually watch right now because we got some business to take care of ourselves. So just like last week, we're going to go pretty quickly through the regular, the base cards here. We'll talk a little bit about Penguins players that are in here or former Penguins. There's Andrew Agazino. 
checking in. What's my favorite? Nicholas wants to know what my favorite AHL team is other than the Penguins. It's the Penguins, Nicholas. They pay my they pay my salary. They are my one and only. And Drag Zeno, his favorite team for a short time was the Penguins. Liam O'Brien is never like the Penguins. Guarantee you that. Pack one down. We're going on to pack number two now. Don't forget, if you guys are having fun with these and you want to tell some of your friends about them, we're happy to have them check in and just watch along with us. They can do that. They don't have to buy in to, to watch the broadcast. They can just check right in on Facebook and YouTube. Let's see what we got. Thatcher Demko. We got something coming up here. Oh, one of those team leader cards. Nick Lapp and Binghamton Devils. I really like those kind of retro looks there. Alex Nadelkovich. There we go, Anthony Angelo. We might have a jersey like that for Angelo coming up here as one of our giveaways in the very near future. Anthony uh, was up there in the bubble with Pittsburgh. Didn't actually participate in any of the games that were going on up there, but it to be a great experience for him. Happy to see him get some time up there with the big club this year, score his first NHL goal. Other were team leader, Henrik Borgstrom. Mike McLeod, Billy Hussle. Ah, oh, you can hear the ice cream man coming by my house. Could use one of those right now. It's a little hot up here in Breaking Central. Got two fans going, but Silly Willie's pulling up outside. Calgary 3, Dallas 2 right now. Thanks for that update, Carl. Keep us updated on what those scores are. If anything happens in that overtime game, too. Josh Hosang, up and comer there. Oh, there's our first autograph of the night. Brett Senny. Brett Senny for the uh, Binghamton Devils. So who has the Devils here? Let's access our sheet. Douglas Bardo. There you go, Douglas. Congratulations. Brett Senny. Pretty cool. Put that one over here for the hits pack. Average of two autographs per pack or per, per box, they say. So we got should have one more at least. Nicholas Malosh, no relation to Jill's Malosh. Kevin Boyle, Eric Comrie, Kirby Reichel for Stockton there, Victor Edsel. <laughs> John Italia, yes, just like Mr. Bicker did. For those of you who don't know, Mr. Bit, well, probably only two or three of us on this broadcast know, grew up in Center Township out in Western Pennsylvania. Mr. Bickerton was a high school teacher that would, uh, during the summers, would sell snow cones out of the back of his Pinto. And he would ring a little bell as he drove by your house. That's how you knew when to come out and get your snow cone. And he did something pretty cool. If you found a snow cone that had a sticker on it, you got a free one. Kind of like giving away the jersey here at the end of the night. Call that a plus one. Down there in Texas, Chase, I'm sure you can use a snow cone. Although it's about 95 degrees today in Wilkes-Barre area. But apparently some relief is on the way. Carter Verhage, Curtis Lazar, Rocco Grimaldi, Alexander Nylander, a good prospect there for Rochester, Zach Dalpy, Jeremy Bracco, hey, Anthony Peters, Penguins netminder from last year, or two years ago, actually, Mike Scarbosa.
Reed Boucher. So we got the, let's see here, eight more packs here. So we're halfway through that box. Then we'll go into the NHL box. Uh, talked about those two other breaks we have coming up. We do have some more of these same boxes as well that we will have in the near future. Um, so we're planning on doing this for the next couple, uh, for next month or so. And if it's still going well, you know, we'll continue it. But we kind of want to get through the Stanley Cup playoffs with it and see what everyone thinks. Uh, see if you can put together some nice collections. Maybe you guys can start trading amongst yourselves if you're looking for a certain team or a certain player. I know everyone's looking for the Penguins, really, but, you know, this is kind of a, a short set. I think it's only 150 cards. So if you've got a couple of teams in here and you're in a couple of different breaks, you're probably already a quarter of the way to the whole set. Don't forget, you can also buy boxes yourself. It's a great way to uh, spend some time and get back into the hobby. The AHL website has boxes of cards available right through their team store. So you can log on there and buy your own box, maybe get some friends together, do kind of your own personal break. While you're also checking back in with us. Taylor Radish. Still looking for that second. Oh, thanks for the update, Carl. Looks like we've already sold some, uh, we've already got some people that have bought into the new breaks. That's great news. As long as you guys want to keep doing them, we'll keep doing them. I love doing them. I love I love being on this side of it, being the guy breaking for you. I also love taking part in breaks myself. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a good way to get uh, back into the hobby. You know, some of the boxes can be really expensive, but a break is a good way to kind of work your way back in slowly and not break the bank, so to speak. Charlotte Checkers there. Uh, obviously, uh, Mike Vellucci was the head coach that year. Today is head coach Mike Vellucci's birthday, actually. Penguins head coach Mike Vellucci. It's his 54th birthday. So happy birthday, coach, if you're checking in. Hope you're not. I hope you're watching the big games. But just in case. Three snow cones at the Pagula, huh, Jay? Hey, uh, John. I see what you're doing there. Riley Barber. Penguins uh, forward here. But this is in his former glory. Oh, but who do we have right behind him? Lena Soland, last year with the team. Nicholas Abe Kubel. Carter Hart, that's a nice card there from somebody who's making some noise up there in the NHL these days. So you knew him when, if you're a Flyers fan there, who, who's got the Flyers in today's breaks? Philadelphia, Cody Moyer. Wow. Cody picks him for the, uh, for the company actually lands on him in today's break. So there you go, Cody. Nice job. There's Randy's thoughts on Coach Felucci's facial hair. I'll pass it on to him next time I talk to him. I haven't seen him in a while. Maybe he has it by now. Who knows? A lot of us have been growing out hair or facial hair during this lockdown, so uh, there's a possibility maybe he's got a little bit more in his face than the last time we saw him. Jacob Larson there, San Diego. So down to three packs. There should be one more autograph in here somewhere. If not, we'll make it up for you. And actually, I wanted to let you guys know, um, whenever we send these out to you guys, there's going to be some other goodies that we're going to throw in there as well, some stuff that we've got around the office. So hopefully it makes it worth your while to be involved. Here's some little you know giveaways left over from the season or – uh, some extra cards that we might have lying around. So I'm going to always try and throw you guys a little extra bone, too, whenever we get these out to you. Oh, number two, Nicholas Malosh, Colorado. 
And who has Colorado in tonight's break? Jeremy. Congratulations, Jeremy. I think you got I think you might have got one last week too. Nicholas Malosh. There you go. Autograph number two in tonight's box. We put that over with our hits. Mackenzie Blackwood, Boston Liar. Another Agazino there. So some doubles popping up through the box. Use the chat to make some connections with people, guys, in case you're looking for cards. If you want to trade some stuff, um, kind of some of the uh, the breakers that I break with, there's uh, they have a really nice, robust Twitter following where they'll all chat on there. Or there's also a Discord group where they go in and they do some small sales or they do some trading. So get to know each other. If uh, you see somebody pull something that you wanted or if you've got something you think somebody else might want, reach out to them. Form a little community here. It could be really fun going forward. And last pack of the AHL cards. Let's see here. Sheldon Rempel from the Ontario Rain. Thatcher Demko. Another Liam O'Brien. Charlie Lindgren. And Alex Ndokovic. So there's your, your base cards and your team leader cards right there from the AHL. And we've got our two hits. Our two autograph hits out of that box. So there you go. Well, there you go. Randy's got some uh, ingrained and some stature. That's a little bit higher end stuff than what we're pulling here, but it's it's nice. So if you guys are interested, reach out to Randy and make some connections there. See if you guys um, can get to know each other a little bit. Thanks for tripping in there, Randy. That's good to know. Throwing a pizza. I don't know if I'm going to throw in a pizza. I don't know how long that would uh, – that old Forge pizza won't travel that far. I don't know. Although I think you can order it online now, kind of frozen. And it'll come right to your door through some different services. So so here we go. We've got the 1920 Upper Deck Series 1 NHL. Uh, we saw these ones last week. Some really cool inserts and short prints and things. Uh, the Young Guns rookie cards are what we're looking for here. So there should be at least six of those inside. I think last week we even pulled an autograph out of here that isn't guaranteed, but we did get one in last week's box. So hopefully we get another one out of this week. That would be great. Maybe maybe more than one. Who knows? So we've got 24 packs, eight cards per pack. These are the Upper Deck Series 1. you got Sid on the front there. Sid is in the Series 1. We did pull a couple of him last week. Uh, I believe Gino is in Series 2, so you may not see him. Nicholas has got the, the Predators. Yep, that's right, Nicholas. So we're we're hoping you get some Predators. You also got the uh, you also got all of the Milwaukee Admirals. So those will all be coming out your way. So here we go. Let's get number one package pack number one in series one. I just said series and Siri on my phone started talking to me. I'm gonna turn her off. Oh man, the series one checklist one. It's got Brad Marchand and Ryan O'Reilly. It's a dual card. Now that's two different teams. What we may have to do with that one is randomize that one itself. So we're gonna put that one to the side because who gets that? Boston or St. Louis? Boston, let's see, is uh Randy Boone and St. Louis, who has St. Louis Chris Lashevsky. So what we'll do is at the end, we will randomize again to see who gets that card. That way, everything is cool and it's all on the up and up and we're having a good time. So, Boone Jenner, Columbus Blue Jackets, playing right now. Oh, Leandro Zittle, there you go. Nice hit there. One of the top up-and-coming youngsters there for the Edmonton Oilers who – that unceremoniously bounced from the playoffs as well. Very cool. Patrick Waugh. Up 
for a deck. Oh, this is one of those 30th anniversary cards. So Patty Waugh, Montreal. And that is... Who's got the Montreal Canadiens? Frank. Frank Nicholas. Congratulations, Frank. Very nice card. We'll put that over with the hits. To Kaiser. Mark Stahl. Yeah, this is the 30th, 30th year of Upper Deck Trading Cards for hockey. So they came out with some special uh, inserts in this one that are kind of uh, looks back at the last 30 years. And that's what that Patrick Y is. Chris Kreider. Taylor Hall. Oh, there you go. Nathan McKinnon. Pretty sweet card there. Colorado. It's one of those portraits. So we're going to put that over with the hits. Jeff Carter. The Flower. The Flower. Former Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguin. Derek Stepp. Nicholas, what are you talking about? Got questions about the cards, Nicholas? You got questions about the teams? Let me know. Nathan McKinnon. Avalanche Star. Jared Spurgeon. Oh, there's one of the young guns. Who we got here? Matt Waugh. It's one of those rookie young guns there. That is Los Angeles. And who has the Los Angeles Kings? That would be Patty Kennedy. Congratulations, Patty. Very cool. My favorite Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins player of all time. Oh, well, there's been quite a few that have come through here, Nicholas. Quite a few. I got a bunch of guys that I uh, that I really enjoyed working with. Oh, here's another one of those: Austin Matthews and Johnny Goudreau. Another dual card. We didn't get any of these last week. Austin Matthews and Johnny Goudreau. So we're gonna have to figure out a way and randomize those. Tori Krug and Kyle Clifford. Um, but to answer your question, Nicholas, some of the guys that I am really that I've kept good uh, relationships with since they've left here. A um, couple guys named uh, one's Ryan Lannon. Lano's a character and a really good guy. Stayed really close with him. Jonathan Filowich, uh, Ryan Stone. Those are some of my favorites. Some guys that I've worked with. Bobby Farnham, Randy, that's a good one. Very good dude. You don't meet very many bad hockey players, though. Very many bad guys that are hockey players. I could count on one hand the number of guys... I've had issues with over the years. Upper Deck Canvas, Canvas, Jonathan Uberdu. That's one of those, it's got a different texture to it. Florida Panthers there. Nice insert. Ryan Suter. Logan Kosher. Hi, Jessica. Thanks for tuning in, checking in with us. Glad you could stop by. Jonathan Taves, Chicago Blackhawks, very cool. And another young gun coming up here, Mackenzie McKecker in St. Louis. Those young guns cards are really sharp, I think. Austin Matthews. So we're getting some stars in this one here. Adam Lowry, Anthony DeClaire. Yeah, let's see here. Sean Coutier, Eric Stahl. Wow, look at this one. Energy, we got a couple of these last week as well. Vladimir Tarasenko. 
pretty cool, pretty sharp. Mark Giordano. Jordan Binghamton. Clutterbuck. Ryan Ellis. There you go, Nicholas. It's one for you, buddy. Ryan Little. Nick Bugstad. I think that's the first penguin we've pulled, isn't it? Quinn Hughes. Oh, wow. Okay. We got something here. Translucent. Clear cut. Quinn Hughes. Clear cut. You can see that you can see right through the card. Quinn Hughes. Vancouver Canucks. Clear cut. That is something special out of there. Vancouver, Jamie Davis. Way to go, Jamie. That is, uh, that's pretty special. Maybe the best thing we pulled out of this so far this, over the last two weeks. Dominic Simone. Keep it going here. Cam Atkinson, Oliver Bjorkstan, former Penguin Ryan Reeves, Jonathan Tavares, Shooting Stars insert. Genny Kuznetsov. Brett Burns. That, I want to find out about that clear cut one we've got there. Give me one second, guys. Just want to check something. See how rare that is. That is a good question. They've got a basically on the back of the, the box it tells you how likely it is that you get one of those. Clear cut is one in every. 576 packs. So that's pretty rare. Let's see if we can get anything else. William Nylander. Oh, there we go. The great one. Another one of those 30 year. Very sweet. That is from the 86-87 version of the 30 years. Wayne Gretzky. Well, okay, Jason Barr just did a little uh, little searching for you guys. For whoever got the, I can't remember who got the uh, clear cut. But if you go on eBay, look at that. $375 on eBay for that Clint Quinn Hughes. So keep that in mind. You make a little bit of money out of this if you do it right, folks. Randy found it too. So, that's not a bad payday to get a nice pool out of here. Let's see if we can get some more for you guys. I'm going to have to package that one extra special now. Everything comes bubble wrapped, guys, by the way, and the big hits come in uh, top loaders and penny sleeves, so they will all be taken care of. Nothing should happen to them in, during their travels. There's another Vancouver Canuck, Brock Bowser. Generation Next card. Thomas Tatar. Dylan Strom, Franz Nielsen. Yeah, look at Randy. Randy's giving some uh, 
some advice there. From who did who did I I know I Vancouver's got Jamie Davis. So Jamie, pay attention to Randy there. You may want to look into doing something with that one. We'll take a nice picture of that, put it out on Twitter as well a little bit later so fans can see that there's some good stuff coming out of these packs. Paul Stastny, Zidane Chara, Connor McDavid, another one of those 30-year flashbacks. Nice card. Seth Jones, Kasperi Kapanen, former Penguin, youngest player to score a goal for the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins. Never played for Pittsburgh. Traded away before he could uh, make his Pittsburgh debut. He's done pretty well for the Maple Leafs, though. Marcus Feligno. There's your Sid. Sidney Crosby. Thanks for the update, Carl. Halfway through the third overtime there. Can you believe it? How are they going to play all, you know, they've got three games in the same place in the same night. And that one's in a third overtime. Kale Fleury. Montreal Canadiens. <laughs> Let's not get crazy there, Randy. But if I keep pulling them, who knows? Maybe I'll gain a reputation. I just want you guys to have fun with it. Whether you make some money off of it, if you're just here for the for the laughs, to enjoy some time uh, with the hobby. I like getting people back into it. I like giving away some free stuff along the way. I gave away a couple of cards today on Twitter, just some people that were looking for things, and I'm like, hey, I got no use for this. You go ahead and take it. It's all karma. It all comes back around, right? Upper Deck Canvas, Nico Ratanen. <laughs> there you go, Randy. Although the baseball is an interesting uh, exploration for a year, I think. Getting a, starting the extra innings for that guy on second base. I'm kind of a purist, too. Uh, I don't mind the DH. That's kind of a, the, the guy on second base is kind of a weird thing. Max Domi. Corey Crawford. Victor Arvidsson. Was that a Henrik Rangers? I'll go back and check for you in just a second there, Skunk. Alex Texier for the uh, Young Guns canvas. That's a nice card. Daniel Sprong. Sprong! Former looks very Scranton Penguin. Prolific scorer. A little bit of an oddball. Let's see here. Let me go back here and see. Was there a Henrik in the Rangers? It was a Henrik Lundqvist Rangers. You are right there, skunk. There you go. So that'll be coming your way. So we're pulling some Decent youngsters tonight. You got it, skunk. I'm here to I'm here to help out and to make sure you guys are having a good time. If I'm going too fast, slow me down. If you want me to go faster, I can do that as well. You just want to get right through and see the hits. Land skunk. Another upper deck canvas. Frank Vetrano, Sorelli, Chikrin. We got about 
seven more packs here to go, and then we'll do the. Uh, don't forget, we're gonna randomize the, the Trotman jersey at the end, and we'll see what we have to do about these two uh, split cards here. Kyle Turris. There we go. Another young gun. Lean Bergman. San Jose young guns there. Nolan Patrick. Oh, outdoor game. Uh, pretty cool looking card. Philip Grubauer. Carter Hart. Wow, that's a Carter Hart rookie. It's a nice shot of him, isn't it? Carl got a hit. <laughs> Glad we can make your night, Carl. Cody's got the Flyers, so, and I know he's a goaltender fan, so that's a nice pull, pull for him. Carl's excited. <laughs> yeah, you only you, you did okay last week too, Carl. Let's see here. Let's see if we pull anything else of news and noteworth out of the rest of these. Lindbaum. Forsberg, Marchand. There we go, another one of those energies. Terravine in Carolina. I like that purple. Matt Dumba. Pat Chiaretti. Deno. Martin Jones. The energy cards, they are not textured. Well, they are. They, they, there's a on the on the letters there. It's kind of a, you know, it's got a metallic there. So it's textured there, but the card itself is not is not a textured itself. Those canvas ones are. They're kind of a, a paper texture almost. But I do like those energy cards a lot. I think they're really sharp. Vander Kane. Scott Sabarin. For the Ottawa Senators. Another young gun there. Seabrook, Cody Eakin, Kucherov, Patrick Hornquist. Thank you guys for sticking around. I really appreciate it that you take the time out to be here with me. Check these things out. It's fun. I enjoy ripping them. I hope you guys enjoy getting them whenever I send them home to you. If you're getting some good stuff and you're enjoying it, want you to, you know, drop us a little tweet or a post somewhere and tag us on it. Let us know that you're having fun with it. Morgan Riley, Eric Brandstrom from the Senators, another Senators hit there. One of those portraits. I think it averages, they said the box is supposed to average three of those. So we should get one more. Sound the horn. What happened there, Carl? Somebody score? Oh, Hornquist. I get it. My fault. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, as they say. Takes me a minute sometimes. Josh Morrissey, Sam Bennett. There we go. Eric Stahl, another one of those upper deck portraits. Thought we would get three out of there. We did. Glamour shots. Brian Rust, former Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguin. 
Rusty. Duncan Keith. Oh, Jeff Pet. Did we have to pull him today? Did we have to pull Jeff Petrie? Jeff Petrie. Uh, thorn in our side last week. Speaking of thorns in the side, there's Tom Wilson. Oh, looky here. Upper deck portraits, Sidney Crosby. Sid the Kid. Very nice. Who's got the Penguins tonight? John Italia, my friend. There you go. Have the kids fight over that one. Sidney Crosby. Jake Muzzin. Three more packs here. See if we get any else, anything else out of here. Tuka Rask. Oposo. You see the uh, New Jerseys that the uh, Sabres brought out today? Kind of look like uh, the old ones. Just a little bit different color. Oh, another energy, Nashville, Roman UC. There you go, Nicholas. That's a nice, nice card for you. I like that yellow on the purple background there. It looks really sharp. Connor Sheary. Before he got made the move back to Pittsburgh. Andre Shevchenko. Oh, that's a good way to do it, John. That's a nice way to do it. Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Kovalchuk. Victor Olofsson, Young Guns, Drew Doherty, Christian Fisher. Last pack coming up now. see here. Robert Thomas, never trust a guy with two first names. Tara Vinen. Energy, Jamie Ben. TJ Oshi. Jason Zucker. So there we go. So there's all of our the inserts and some of the nicer hits, including you gotta pull the big one out of here. Quinn Hughes at clear for Jamie. Congratulations. That is a that's a big pull. That's the biggest thing we've pulled so far in, in these breaks. So we'll be taking good care of that one to get it out to you. That over here with all the other hits. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'll go through the cards, I'll sort them all out, and get everything ready for you guys, and then uh, we will get them in the mail to you guys tomorrow. So, but before we go, we got a couple of things to do here. So we've got these two dual cards, and we've got to give away the. The um, Zach Trotman jersey as well. 
So we are going to go back into the randomizer here. If you give me one second, I am going to go into the, let's see here. Random.org multi-round giveaway. And I got to figure out two things very quickly here. Actually, you know what? I'm okay right now. So we're going to go into random.org, the giveaways. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is these two these two cards that are dual cards. Boston is Randy Boone. So what I'm going to do is take Randy's name, put him into the randomizer, we are going to take Ryan, uh, St. Louis, who has St. Louis. That's Chris Lushevsky. We're going to put Chris into the randomizer. Toronto is Tim Doherty. We're going to put him into the randomizer. And Calgary. Oh, Calgary is Tim Doherty, too, so he's both of us. So, actually, we only have to do the one. Tim Doherty has both Toronto and Calgary. So, we don't have to worry about that one. So, we're just going to do the, the Marshawn and O'Reilly, which is Randy Boone and Chris Leshevsky. So, what I'm doing, putting you guys into the randomizer. We are going to share... Random.org. Whoever lands on top is going to get this card. So we're going to roll the dice again three times. And we've got a 12 round giveaway. So whoever lands on the top position is going to win this card. So here we go. Oh, I got it. Sorry about that, guys. Here we go. Begin the giveaway. Randy, Chris, Randy, Chris, Randy, Chris. And Chris Lushevsky. Congratulations. That one is yours, buddy. I'm going to put that over here with the hits. And that verification is H-B-V-D-E-N. Sorry, Randy, you didn't get it. Uh, but, Chris, congratulations. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take all of you guys who have bought in tonight, that we really appreciate that for you guys taking your time out and hanging out with us tonight. We are going to freeze up our computer. No, we're not free. Hold on. We are going to grab all of the names of tonight's contestants, tonight's breakers. We're going to do a new giveaway. Pay no attention to the numbers on the sides. That has nothing to do with this. And this is how we are now going to give away we are going to give away tonight's Zach Trotman, game worn third jersey. Seven rounds on this giveaway. So we are going to do that in just a second. I'm going to make sure my camera's working here. For some reason, my camera became undone. So you can't see me. I'm hoping you can hear me. Oh, here we go. Start. 
I think after an hour, it kicks me off. So here we go with the random seven rounds. Whoever lands on top in the top position is winning the Zach Trotman game worn jersey. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six. And here we go. The last one. Jason Barr. Congratulations, buddy. You are the winner of the Zach Trotman jersey tonight. So we'll be shipping that out to you along with your cards. Um, thanks, everybody, for tuning in again tonight. We hope you had a good time. Four overtimes, Carl. Are you serious? That game's going to the fourth overtime. Uh, Chris, I'm glad you tuned in, too. You got a little bit out of there. Um, but hopefully you guys had fun with tonight. Um, as I mentioned before, we've got two brand-new breaks that are up in Dash. So if you are interested, head on over there. I'm going to take a picture of some of these hits tonight, put them up online. And uh, I'm going to sort through all the cards while I'm watching some hockey tonight and get these out to you guys in the mail tomorrow. Um, thanks a lot, everybody. I really, really appreciate you guys taking the time hanging out tonight and being a part of what I think is a, a really cool little thing we're doing here and a, a good way to bring some hockey fans together here in a time uh, when we don't have any Penguins hockey to watch. So pretty cool time. Thanks a lot, everybody. Be sure to check Dash. Uh, Randy, later to you. Have a great week to you as well. Uh, and we will check in with you guys next week as long as we sell out one of those breaks. Um, that's it. Tell your friends. Tune in next week. Talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.